اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم We should not believe in ghosts. Actually, ghosts or dead spirits never return back to us. Ghosts, spirits, jeans, souls, these are the matters of unseen. These are the matters which cannot be experienced by human senses or proven with science. In such matters, the only authentic source of knowledge are Sahih Hadiths of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and Quranic revelations. And we must not rely on any other source to avoid misconceptions and superstitions. Some of us believe that the soul of a deceased person may return in order to frighten us. Some also believes that dead people can help us or harm us. But as Muslims, we believe that when someone dies, his soul goes back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and stays on a completely different dimension to us, known as Al-Barzakh waiting for the final judgment day when everyone will be resurrected all together. This life is nothing but a test, and once a person dies, his test is over. So, there is no logical reason for the soul of a dead person to wander around in this world, as his or her test is already over. But it is true that the jinns can take the form of a dead person or imitate his or her voice in order to fool or frighten us. Our life can be described in three stages. Life of this world, being alive, which begins from our birth and lasts till our death. Life of Al-Barzakh, which starts when we die and end at the judgment day. And finally, the afterlife, that starts after our resurrection and continues after the day of judgment. Surah Al-Mu'minun teaches us about this Barzakh. The below ayat proves that. The ghost or dead spirits can never come back to help or harm us in any way. These ayats illustrates the scenario of a bad person when he reaches to the point just before his death. Reaching at this stage, the person realizes the actual purpose of this life. He realizes that this life was actually a trial period and now he will have to return to his creator or owner as there is no time left for him for asking forgiveness. At this time, he regrets by looking at the huge pile of sins and bad deeds done in his lifetime. At that moment, the person says, Oh my Lord, please send me back to life or give me some more time so that I can do some good deeds that I couldn't do during the time that I left behind. He will be answered, Never. It is nothing but a word that he speaks, means, speaks without firm intention. From this time, he must stay in Barzakh until the time of resurrection. When the horn will be blown, there will be no tie of relationship between family and friends. They will not ask or care about each other. Only those who have done good deeds and their scales will be heavier will be successful on that day. So all of us should prepare ourselves for that day. May Allah guide us to the right and straight path so that we can correct ourselves by making genuine tawbah with true repentance very soon, inshallah. Ameen. If you like this video, please don't forget to share this video and hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Thanks.